Hello and welcome to Occupy Mars the Game. In this episode we have some dangerous weather incoming as announced, but in the previous episode we have constructed a workshop and we were able to do quite a lot, but we cannot power it yet. So first let's get through this weather and then we're gonna be doing some planning. We're gonna be setting to sleep until the morning and then after that until the weather subsides. Watch out, solar storm strikes. Did it strike? Yeah, if the sound is to be judged anything about, yes. Yeah, and the light is green, which means sun has, sunstorm has struck. Okay, we're gonna be using this to talk a little bit about the tech tree and where we are at. Botany we haven't touched yet, but electricity, we have done the transformer, but what I need is transformer expansion. And here I'm gated by the, I need the blueprint, industrial energy converters, and I cannot go further. We could craft the battery pack expansion, but we cannot power it yet because to if we go and check the radar situation and we take a look at electricity consumption, currently the workshop requires, the structure entirety requires 20 watts. and this can actually provide the battery pack and the transformer can provide up to 20 watts but not more than that so we have four panels connected so we would need an expansion or a second transformer with another four panels uh that means that we were probably gonna go exploring and i'm checking a little bit of the map we have gone and we have taken care of these two bases but if I look carefully on the map, there are two more bases. So I'm gonna actually track this one with the red dot. And I'm gonna track, I think I saw somewhere else, this one with the yellow dot. So we're gonna have two additional goals where we will be wanting to visit. Right, okay, fair enough. That being said, now let us go and let us weather the storm. I hope that this weather will be passing by, say, 10 o'clock, so let's check. It's increased levels of radiation that we want to avoid, so let us see if the weather will subside. I don't think it is done yet. No, everything has a greenish tint, which means we will need to wait a little bit more. Let's check our situation. O2 we're good, H2 we're good, suit battery is acceptable, food wise we're doing pretty a-okay and we need processed food, we need some more food otherwise we're gonna be in some serious trouble. Alright, to me that tells we should wait a little bit longer. Let's say, can we wait until maybe we're gonna sleep for an additional hour, perhaps? All right, it appears the weather has improved, which means we can actually go out. Solar storm has passed, so I'm gonna be putting on my helmet. Yeah, there we go, suit pressurized. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually leave, no, not this, but I'm gonna leave stuff in the electronics printer because I think we don't need like a suit battery at the moment. We don't need the universal repair kit. Everything else we definitely are gonna be using. So I'm gonna leave those there. Fine. All right, let's get out. All right, so I need to be, why is it not tracking? I was thinking that I did put, I did set up the trackers. Okay, uh, track. I did put the red tracker on you, so track, icon, whatever. Do we see that? We don't. That's weird. Okay, interesting enough. We have 75% on our vehicle. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be using just the vehicle as is, and we're gonna be straight to gonna go straight to exploring. So. The downside of this is sadly, oh wait, wait a second, 
while we're doing that i mean this sound is still to me tells it there is some radiation happening but my suit is not registering it so what i'm gonna do rather i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna turn all electricity going to the workshop in the hope of hopefully charging the battery pack because if i manage to charge the battery pack at least i will have some electricity for the night so that's the idea let's see um how much are you sending you're sending 20 watts to the battery yes good and how much are you sending onwards you're gonna be sending zero here hopefully that means that you will be charging yourself rather quickly good all right our Dude battery is at 72%. That should be more than enough to survive at least one day. And now I'm going to go follow where I'm supposed to be going to the first marker. I don't know why I don't see the track, you know, the track GUI, but maybe it could be that I don't see the quest markers. We'll see how it goes. There we go. Mars surface sure is beautiful. And we have 70% in our um, ATV and the idea is that we visit at least one of those two bases if I manage to just visit one I will be pretty happy with the overall result note that this ATV is actually quite slow so that's another thing that we will need to be taking care into account however it is what it is and we're just gonna go with it all right there we go we can actually take the screenshot while we're at it there we go us leaving our beautiful nest all right let's just quickly see so the idea is i want to be collecting the tablets abandoned tablets abandoned tablets contain the plants or the blueprints where we will hopefully unlock some technologies that gate us from going further right. okay a little bit rougher terrain it i think it's better that i go into the first person view just to make sure that we don't encounter any bumps sorry if it feels a little bit bumpy maybe it would be better actually third person view so that no you don't get motion sickness by watching this video all right where are we going let us quickly see hopefully when we get to edge of the crater the edge should not be too harsh and i am hoping oh there's the, there's the base that i've been looking for that's one base at least I was expecting to see it on the visor though, because, well, I did pin it and I did create an, you know, back and so I, I, I was tracking it. Feels kind of weird that it doesn't show. Doesn't matter. It's two in the afternoon, meaning I'll probably only have the time to visit this one. What is now? New location discovered Cerberus. All right. Sounds like a new location, and uh, yeah, the I am a little bit worried about the time of day. I should have gone very early in the morning, and I should have probably taken a faster ATV, but it is what it is. We're hopefully gonna find some food and some abandoned tablets, and I'm gonna grind down a couple of those solar panels, hopefully. And uh, do we see that other base that's supposed to be a little bit more... I think it's... In, I don't know if it's north. I don't have a compass here. No, I actually have. It should be northeast. Yeah, compass is on the bottom, silly. All right. So we are coming closer to the second base. And oh, and there's another one to the left. All right. That might be that I can actually visit two bases for the price of one. Well, you won't see me crying. Okay. Okay. Coming here, breaking, and let's quickly go. I'm going to spam the Z key in the hopes of finding something actually useful here. What do I have here? This is the explosives. Well, not the stuff that I've been expecting, but it will have to do. Okay, what is this? Organic waste taken. Fine. Small circuit board. Yes. Processed food. I need that quite a bit. Anything else of note? Oxygen bottle. This will be useful. Anything else on that side? There are stuff here in these capsules. Let's see. This is the first aid kit, obviously, which I'm going to pick up. 
Rubik's Cube. Oh, that would be interesting for my kid. He is into the Rubik's Cubes, but uh, not me at the moment. Electronics, anything else? What is here? And we have an abandoned tablet. Wish me luck. Use. Industrial energy converters. Exactly what we needed. Perfect. Okay, this will be a big improvement in terms of what we can do. All right. Having said that, I don't think I will be wasting much time. I would much rather... Um, I would be much rather going over there, but it feels like a little bit far off. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be scrapping these guys because I will need some electricity, electronics and all that stuff to be able to convert. And I will mark this base as visited, while the second one probably won't be visited at this point. Because it's already late in the afternoon and I am worried that I won't be able to, you know, fully utilize the benefits of this soul. Okay. Come on. Let's grab this thing and let's grab the other one at least. Back of screws, aluminium. Can I get electronics at least? One electronics? No. Anything else worthy of picking up here? Oh, there's the circuit board. Nope. Don't destroy it, please. There we go. Small circuit put to box or circuits and pen drives. Right. There we go. Pack of screws. Just scrapping everything. And we have gotten another technological points for the advancement. That's definitely positive. I think I'm going to be scrapping until 5 o'clock. And then I'm going to just drive back to the base. Hoping that I will be making it in time before the night falls. Because my hunger is increasing. My suit battery is not great. And I'm hoping the electricity thing will actually help me unlock the extension. All right, second one. Let's go. Come on. Oh, we have gotten two electronics. Exactly what I need. Good, because if I manage to get those, then that means that I will be able to construct the expansion. And I really need the expansion because then we will be able to completely move to the workshop and uh, that will actually make our life significantly easier other all right come on scrap this one and maybe the next one and hopefully i will have enough materials let's see what does it say all right there we go that one and let's deconstruct uh, the last h2o yeah it will take it takes one hour to scrap one of these blimey quite a long time and remember, this is the tier 2 scrapper. Upgrading your tools is really important in this game. And actually, it's kind of expected. Right. Okay, so what do we what do we got here? To me. All right. Steel plate, electric motor, whatever. Cables, I'm not going to be touching that. And let us go back into our... ATV and we've got to hightail it out of here. Sadly, where is my home base? I hope it's that way. I think... I think it was something like that or around that way. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we arrive there. I think I'm going in the right direction at least. Am I? Probably am. See, now without the markers... I'm not overly happy that I don't see any of them. But, yeah. Alright. Let us continue. And it's 5 o'clock. It's getting a little bit darker. And that worries me a little bit. However, I think we are going in the right... No, 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 no. It's not that direction. It should be that direction, I think. Okay. Let us do... You cannot get... Out of the vehicle at this place. No, I can now. Let's see. Map. What does the map say? I seem to be going in the... Oh, I was at this base, not the other one. Okay, fair enough. We're gonna go... A little bit to the left. Alright. A little bit to the left. That means we should be going... Yeah, beside these two big pillars. I think that the quest markers are bugged previously i had them constantly nowadays they're just kind of i feel a little bit weird yeah 
I mean, this Mesa, if I remember correctly, was just in front of my crater, so I am going in the right direction. Right. And here should be another rover or something. Suit power 50%. Yeah, I know, I know. It's not optimal. Yeah, there's the base that I've been exploring before. Okay, good to know. Now I just have to find my way down. And I think I found it. Hopefully I did. Without major acrobatics. Okay, I don't want to be driving like a maniac. Although I'm succeeding at it. Right. That's the second base. And okay, just careful. Oh! Oh, 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 we found something. We found a rover. We found a rover. Oh, you don't say. Which one is it? What did we find? Come on, talk to me. New location discovered. I'm gonna take... What did I take? Did I take the pen drive? New technological point. What? Can I take anything? I keep clicking on... Uh, I picked up pen drive mechanics. Okay. Fair enough. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take snap a photo of you, obviously. Hello, friend. Right. Okay getting dark we should be continuing on our merry way and we should be continuing downwards good at least we found the po poi it was well hidden to be perfectly honest with you okay okay don't jump don't jump there's our base or actually that's the base that's supposed to be close to our base so yeah darkness has come and although sadly we won't be able to you know, do all of the things that we intended, we are at least coming back safe and sound. And I'm even thinking about constructing the ATV, that which I could use, because that one will be going much faster than this broken thing. However, for the time being, this one is just good enough, I'd say. But there's our survival capsule, and we will be making it in time. Okay, fair enough. The panel will have at least some electricity, so we will be able to at least... Uh, pen drive will usually gives us, when we decode it at the workshop, workbench, they give us an additional technological points. So hopefully we'll be able to utilize that point for, you know, research and stuff. Now, let us just quickly go there and let's see, are we now unlocked progression-wise? So. Right here we are parking. Now, what's the time? It's seven o'clock. Good. Tech tree. Transformer. Yeah, industrial energy converters. Beautiful. That means we can actually build a transformer expansion. Let's see if we can actually queue one. Um, where is? Inventory? No, blueprints. That would be blueprints, electricity, transformer expansion. I can build one. Oh, well, don't mind if I do then. Then I'm going to immediately build one because we really, really need it. And we sorely need it. So definitely we're going to take that one and we're going to build it immediately. Right. B, transformer expansion. Yep, works perfectly. Okay, let's construct it. What a beautiful end to a pretty decent day. So there we go. Can we at least build one more solar panel? Because that would actually make my day. Electricity? Yeah, we could. Means we shall. All right. One more solar panel. There we go. And we're going to turn this that side. And actually, can we build this one? One more here. Let's see. Two more solar panels would be a huge benefit. And I think I have the materials for two. We, and if we connect these two solar panels, we would no longer need to worry about provi providing sufficient amount of electricity to everything else. Okay, I'm, I could maybe even construct more. However, let us first hook up these bad boys. Right, solar panel, chunky boy. Here we go. 
darkness is coming. I have to account for enough time to get to my shack, but this is definitely encouraging. Yeah, tomorrow I actually might focus more. On, tomorrow I might focus more on building more solar panels. Yeah, significant temperature drop. I'm aware of it, and I'm running back to my capsule. Probably this will be the last night that we spend in this capsule, but that's just the way it is. All right. We go inside, kill the lighting. Okay, now taking off our helmet, we have this pen drive. If I equip it, what happens if I equip it? Do I get anything out of it? Nope, I don't. Where did it go? Maybe did I did I get an extra point? Let's see. Tech tree. Materials, we've got one materials points and we have now 3D printer. That's already unlocked storage cabinet. And we should, we cannot, don't have the well extension yet. We need a blueprint for it. But if I just continue with the corridors, I might be able to get to the small crusher and then unlock the science bench, which we're gonna need quite a lot later on. Okay, mechanics, yeah, that we got one point. So we have detector, grinder, night vision, ATV. I need, ah, that's why I cannot build the ATV. I need small built-in accumulator. Okay, fair enough. Jackhammer, grinder, and I need Jackhammer 3 to proceed. What else do I need to be able to get to these blueprints? I need the science bench, and a precursor to the science bench is the ATV. Okay. To me, it sounds like from the mechanics sides, decoration, scanning, all-terrain vehicle, I do want to have be unlocked the ATV. So I'm going to keep the point in the mechanics. Maybe I could actually go fire extinguisher and detonator. Detonator could help us mine. Detonate explosive like the solid rocket motors. I'm going to unlock the fire extinguisher. We're going to get the, the tools soon enough. All right. There you go, guys. Let's go and quickly have some nutrition and then we're going to wrap it up. Consume. We are good. And that's enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the episode and I'll see you in the next one. This is Survival Joe. Out.